We're in Southern California. I have no idea what the name of this mountain range is, but it's just east of San Diego. Strolling down the river and the first thing we run into is a Big Mac. That's 2,000 pounds of McDonald's making fury right there. It's like a car with a face. Okay, that, that thing's a girl, guys. There's there's the, 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 the baby feeders. Let's walk this way slow, okay? Hopefully what they say about cows and bulls not liking red is true. Okay. Ah, crap. Literally, there's crap everywhere. And the cow's right there. It seems like it's actually being pretty nice, but it's still kind of scary. I would love to go over there and pet it and ride it. I know, unfortunately, for that cow, the only ride that it's going to be getting is on buns. Is it me, guys, or is that cow following us all over the river? I don't think that's a real cow. I think it's loaded with park rangers. They're going to jump out of there like a Trojan horse, except it's not a Trojan horse, it's a Trojan cow. They're trying to catch us riding dirty. I don't keep the herps, though. You ain't going to get me, suckers. with these cows Jesus that one's looking at us a little more funny I'm supposed to be looking at him like he's a burger not the other way around right, let's let's navigate around this thing now that I've shown you guys a Big Mac in their native environment we're gonna move downstream safely Matthew says we're not in California it's California oh my god there's a crack I can't even see him. Oh, there he is. There you are, Peter. Get back here, Peter. Got you. I got the double chocolate frog. Show you guys before he jumps away. Peek a frog. See, two flavors of chocolate right there. Milk chocolate and dark chocolate. And jumping chocolate. Get back here, jumping chocolate. It looks like a Pacific tree frog just without the green. The Pacific chocolate frog. I don't know. Just... Oh. Navigational chocolate heading downstream. All right, gotta watch out for ticks. They jump out of the bushes like ninjas and maul you in big groups. We found our first deep pool. I bet yeah. you if you dig through that, you could probably find a turtle. Do it. Make your dreams come true. It looks like I'm stepping into swamp things, but I don't know what's in there. We finally found a pool deep enough to swim in. And there's some fish that seem to be a few inches long. These fish work for GoPro because they're inspecting my camera for defects. I found a real, real pretty one. That one seems to be more skittish. I feel like it's finding Nemo, except Nemo's finding me. We stepped away from the river for a minute after I murked it up. These logs are huge. They're bigger than anything I've ever destroyed a bathroom with. Look at that thing. It's a tremongous jungle gym. Yeah, this is totally jungly, Jimmy. I feel proud of myself today, celebrating my fifth birthday all over again. You coming down, Bo? Whoop. There you go. Continue the flip search. Found a little teeny scorpion. The scorpion's ready to fight it out with my blade of grass. All right, let's go see if we can find those snakes now, petting the scorpion. All right, bro, you, you got to go down on that. Like, Whoa! Ah. I don't know what this thing is. He's a little grubber. Remember the grubber's getting sometimes they maul you. You got to, okay, okay, sorry, grubber. Leave grubber alone. That thing's hideous. Hey, that's rude. Don't call it hideous. It's going to turn into something beautiful later. That's exactly what we said about you, and we're still waiting. You suck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What is that? That looks like an egg patch of some kind. What is that? We found this reflective silver egg patch thing, and I dare to think what'll crawl out of that in the next couple days or weeks. And oh, there's a little teeny spider crawl next to it too. Now let's go find our, our snakes. Why do snakes gotta be so sneaky, guys? My ears started buzzing, and I'm like, what was that noise? I'm gonna look up and see my arch nemesis. Last thing I wanna hear is the buzz of death. There's a good amount of them going in and out there. They're pretty active. We found them, but we don't want them to find us. Let's sneak away. And by sneak, I mean talk very loudly. It's time, boys and girls, for me to turn into a stick sickle. <laughs> that water is pretty dang cold. My rainbow of joy is swimming around there, and I'm gonna get it. I hope one of those giant water bugs don't bite me in the butt. I'll bite you back. You're organic. I'm pretty sure I can chew you. <gasps> I'm refrigerating future generations. Here we go. 
I, I might have found a rainbow. I've got a strategy. Does anybody got a pot of gold to lure in the rainbow? You got a code rainbow. Did you get him? I think I got, yeah, I got something. Is it a rainbow? Please tell me. He's, he's pretty rainbow. Ah, ah, Jesus! The freaking water bug just attacked me. Well, let's hope you're not allergic. That little bastard. Okay, I just realized I left my $900 phone down there. That water is really cold. I got a rainbowish colored one. He's not even the most colorful one. There was one that probably had two and a half to three times as much bright, vibrant colors. All right, Mr. Fishy. So we let him go. Oh, he's, he's flopping around. All right, back you go, fish. The fish is free and in good condition. We're gonna move on, look for some snakes, turtles, lizards, maybe do some road cruising and more flipping. That is a bee nest. And this is not a beekeeper. I would say don't try this at home, but it ain't my home. To be honest, guys, I'm hoping to discover a new species of bee, the cinnamon honeybee. Being allergic to honeybees sucks. Maybe I won't be allergic to cinnamon bees. I'm hoping these aren't the alien variety of honeybees, the ones that crash landed on a meteor. Drag me up to the nest and encase me in honeycomb, and then I'm gonna have bee chestbursters busting out of me. 10,000 bees in an allergy constantly leaves me afraid. We're going in for the bee nest, high five. They're like, or maybe that was my heart rate. Gotta hold my breath, no talking, no narration. And narration pisses bees off. Don't narrate on the bee nest. I narrated too close to the bee nest. No, no, bad bee, bad bee. Stop that, bad bee. One more time, because I don't feel like dying. I'm just gonna let the bees know I'm an official who works for the government. I'm with the FBI, the federal bee inspectors. We're here to check your honey production to make sure it's up to quota. Maybe I should tell them I'm from the IRS instead, the Insect Rescue Service. Hey guys, your nest is in the wrong spot. I'm going to have to safely relocate your honey to a piece of bread and then to my stomach. I just hope these bees don't hate the government as much as the rest of us. Man, those stings, those stings. I don't wanna get stung to death. Be sad if you died. Yeah, yeah, the boys would be sad if I died. I need some BB gone. Here's the thing guys, every time a bee flies, I blow out of there. I'm gone, I'm gone. If they actually successfully get me, I'll go to the ER. If I retaliate, they'll go to the BR. I know I keep saying it's my last time, but I'm just addicted to touching bee butts. I mean bee hives. I mean bee honey, bee something. You sound like a bee pervert. <laughs> I don't want to be around you. <laughs> Bees are starting to swarm around me. I'm like, hey, what's this big, stupid, furry tree in my way? They don't really seem to be attacking me, except for that one occasional jerk bee. But we all have that family member who drinks too much nectar and acts like an asshole. Um, see you guys in a bit, or maybe in a bit of a bit. Maybe it's eight bit. No, no, that's too old. 256 bit? Okay, I play too many video games. I'll shut up and go find some animals now. It would have been a bit too much if I aggravated the nest. They would have went to town on me, me being allergic. It's not a really good idea. Well, hey boys, let's go this way. All the single lizards, all the single lizards, uh, uh, oh. Come back here. 
Not today. He's working on his triple gainer. You were gonna get totaled. I don't think he knows he's off the ground when I pick him up. Let's give this toad a shower. It's greener now. Okay, there's a tarantula, Mr. Tarantula. If you want, you can pick up Mr. Tarantula. Having our hell a tarantula. Back during Jurassic time, it was tarantula because they were as big as the raptors. Can't freaking maul you. He can use the nail like a sword. You need an ear nail. You need an ear nail. You need a donkey kicking. Oh, what is that? Oh. <sighs> He's pretty though. Dang, he's rolling like an alligator. Awesome little alligator lives right here. Uh, I gotta go take care of that tarantula. Neil, you hold this thing. He peed on me. Oh, it's funny, I can't smell the difference between his smell and your smell. Congratulations, alligator lizard. You take more showers than Neo does. No, come here, tarantula. Get down for what? There we go. All right, we're gonna go put him back in his little spot over there. Good job, bro, good job. Smart tarantula. He must have been top of his class with an IQ of two and a half. Back to the alligator lizard. That thing was doing a death roll kind of thing, just like the gator. And all this time, I've never known that, guys. I was oblivious. You should be thankful for my obliviousness, or else you wouldn't be here. What goes where? What? Huh? Oh. Okay. Never mind. Ah! This is not the only coloration they come in, but it's definitely a nice one. Maybe if I just let him bite me, he'll be happy. Just hang on like an earring. I don't normally wear jewelry, guys, but today I think I'm gonna make an exception. He's pooping on the side of my head. Hold on one sec, guys. I gotta wipe his butt. Take care of him just like you do the babies. Okay, this is not working. Maybe it's because it's the organic recipe and they just don't have the cleaning power of Tide. Okay, you don't wanna use that on him. Okay, that'd be bad. He's still got crap all over him, but at least I'll have less crap on me. They got these new clip-on earrings for girls. They do not work as good as this, okay? See, that's how it's done right there. See, ladies? Oh my god. Blurred out. He went blurry joy. There we go. I've got a whole thing. Lizard just hanging out. I'm pretty. Wait, wait. Is this my good side or is this my good side? Oh. No, no, no. Don't attack that side. I might not be onto something as, as well as I thought with this, you know, living jewelry thing. When you got to feed your earlobes every half an hour, you might have problems. No, you just bit your own leg. Okay, that was not very smart. He has an IQ of 0 0.1. He just bites everything he sees. He even bites himself. You got him real good. Oh. My earlobe feels funny. Is my earlobe bleeding? Uh, not really. Just before we let him go, we're gonna put him down on the ground so you guys can see his uh, alligator rhythm. You were too sneaky. Okay, well you're not that sneaky or else I wouldn't have caught you underneath that log, but you're kinda sneaky. Okay, that's a little sneakier. All right, we're gonna hand him off to Matthew. I'm hoping Matthew has his chance to get assaulted today too. He doesn't like crazy old men. He only likes crazy kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's discrimination against old people. And we're in California, so I'm pretty sure I can take you to court even though you're an animal. Come on. You're free, bro. You're free. Dang, that totally looks like a dinosaur. He's so big that he has to move super Same. slow. What are you doing? Oh, let's let's go check out that toad now. Instinctively, I just reached down and I was afraid the toad was gonna bite me. You don't get much manlier than being afraid of toad biting. We're gonna water him just like a little green garden because that's kind of like what he looks like. I mean, he's kind of a nasty green garden, but that's okay. Water. Oh. There you go, bro. Why does he sound like an orangutan? I don't know, he's an orangutan. Don't forget the water. Go jump in a tree, orangutan. We're gonna look a little closer and then we'll let him go because he's not happy to be out here in the sunlight. <laughs> All right, guys, I can't hold on to him anymore. He's not happy about this. We gotta put him back in his spot. So, but the good news is we just watered him. A toad mountain lion's in there. All you, bro. All right, let's go find some more critters. Ones that I'm not related to. Yeah, the only critter here is Neil's face. Uh, Normally what we find over there is lizards. Normally what we find here is snakes. Circling doesn't work for me if it just duck. <laughs> right. This is my mobile self-defense system. It even give, gives a warning. If somebody tries to come and salt you in a dark alley, this is the gift that keeps on giving. Come to think of it, if you're in a dark alley, you probably are not a very good person either. Especially if you're throwing rattlesnakes at people. You uh, stuck, buddy. Whoa, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. Okay. Whoa. 
We just found a horned lizard. Good for us and good for him. He's stuck down here. Come here, buddy. We might have been able to get out. Last time we were here, there was nothing in here. This time, there's that. It's definitely the horned lizard hot tub time machine. First, they're not here, and then they are. He looks like a skelly pug. This is a skelly pug right here. That is so awesome. Okay. I'm going to hand off to Neo, and then we're going to climb out of the hole. Be careful. Holy crap, he's strong. Crazy kids. Whoa. Oh, God. Holy shit. Damn, damn Guys, I saw some movement to the right, right as I was freaking looking, that thing popped off. At least he warned me, thank God. That's why I stay away from bushes. Come over. This is a big Pacific, I think. I'm, I'm not sure, maybe four feet. I'm gonna see if I can pull him out. Whoa. Whoa, he is totally targeting me. He is ready for a throwdown. Normally only like modern moccasins and hot mouth might get that aggressive, but this guy is peppy. Wow, he is looking at Jeez. You got him. That's a good huh? Alright, here we go. Do not copy what I'm doing, guys. I've been acting like an idiot for a lot of years and I'm very experienced at it. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. By putting them on the stick and having them fully extended, it massively limits their ability to coil and strike with any real speed or force. Doesn't mean they can't, just means it's a heck, a heck of a lot harder for them. If he was facing me, I'd be in range, and I'd have to re have to react like a cat to be able to get out of the way. But since he's facing that way, he'll have to reverse his coil to light me up. We're not going to stay here and mess with him too long. I don't want my luck to run out. It's a quick look before we go, guys, and then it's on to other things. Oh, oh the wind's blowing me. Stop that wind. If you guys listen closely, you can hear him breathing or hissing. That. What do you think of that critter, dude? That's awesome. And dangerous. I heard that rattle pop off. <laughs> that was a shocking surprise, okay? When you're a herper, that is the last thing you want to hear as loud and as clear and defined as that was. I heard that rattle and I'm like, no. Okay, maybe That's it wasn't. Horrible slow yeah, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe it wasn't quite that bad, but you guys get the point. I literally found a miniature aquarium to put that horn lizard in for a minute. Wait, there's two slots there. You can probably put in something else in there. Maybe that's a good omen. I gotta go back and get some water. But look at this. He's turning green just like the dang Hulk. He's getting angry. I hope he gets bigger. Uh, oh, whoa. Speaking of bigger, check this out. This is what a horn lizard looks like when they get full grown. This is about, that. that's about the real size right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Totally not making this up. I swear. Where does it smell come from? What smell? I'm gonna go back, get something to drink, something to eat, wash my hands right after I have lunch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> definitely before, definitely before. I'm so happy. I, ah! Okay. <laughs> I just got attacked by a horned lizard, man. He chomped and he did that like twisted. He got angry enough and green oh. enough. Yeah. That's the first horned lizard bite I've ever seen. Well, he bites less than the girls at the club I used to go to. Oh, God. Starting to begin to think that you're a weirdo. And you know what my response to that is? It's hereditary. Oh God. Neil's already became a weirdo. I'm next. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. What was that? It sounds like it came from this way. Oh, yeah. like oh it's him. Oh, it's him? He's hissing. All right, bro. Give me them freaking pug bites. I'm getting mauled by an ankylosaur. Yeah, but he's missing his tail clubs. I got a horned lizard, and now I've got a horned lizard. No, no, get back here, you little squirrel. <laughs> Luckily for me, whoever was here had an aquarium, and now I can dual wield. Hi. Right. You gotta look out for that rat snake, you know, we released him. He might be coming over for a comeback. He's stabbing me with his little ankylosaur things. I'm gonna be sore later, ankylosaur. 
Maybe that's why they call ankylosaurs ankylosaurs because they're so short they can only attack your ankles and after they do, your ankles are sore. Ankylosaur. This ground is so soft, guys. It totally doesn't feel like you're laying on a bunch of spiky plants. <laughs> As you can see, he turns green when you start messing with him. Hey, he's got orange hair. He's Hornald Trump. Really? He gotta eat, gotta get buff for them, those mates. Let's see if we can see his eye color. Show me the eyes. Light up the eyes, boy. That is full dino right there. It's so awesome that some of the spikes are red and then the other ones are black. And then this one appears more gray. Don't pug me, bro. Angry spiky pancake activated. I wonder what an angry spiky pancake tastes like. His claws are pretty good. Let's add some syrup. <laughs> some butter a spiky oh. pancake 2012 movie a giant wave of syrup is coming from the west all these patterns and colors combine to make for a pretty effective camouflage out here in this sand such good camouflage that there might have never been a video <laughs> and this is where he's lacking compared to his ankylosaur ancestors I mean, he's not really related to Ankylosaur. Yeah, you never know. 50 years later, they find out this is the closest ancestor. Like most kids, I've always wanted to be a superhero when I grew up. I'm Thor now. My eye patch is way cooler, though. Ow! Ow! My eye patch hurts. Your eye patch, I think, doesn't like you. Okay, it's a nose patch then. It's a band aid. See this? Yeah, High quality, durable band aids. Nobody else has band aids quite this good. They're 3M approved. We don't just make the things you buy. We make the things you buy scalier. I mean better, my bad. Look at him. Hopefully now you guys can see why you call him a pug face ankylosaur. What are you looking at, dude? Looking for some more ants? I got a really good idea. Let's go drop him on top of an ant pile and watch him declare war. Wait, I just Maybe I'll even have a few ants too. Oh crap, the macro's on. We're gonna fly to South America, feed them some bullet ants, and leave. <laughs> yeah, bullet ant. One shot kill. Oh my god, he does not like being upside down like a pancake. So whenever you're making pancakes, don't flip them. Every time I try and show, it seems like he changes colors on me. Like a funky little chameleon. He's playing tricks on me. Alrighty, buddy. Ants can't bite them. He's looking down at them here and there. I think he's trying to anticipate their movement. He's doing lizard dabs. He won. <laughs> that was like a victory dance. I was like, what's up, man? What's up? All right, we're gonna let him go now, guys. Remember, it is okay to be green, but it's not okay to smash things. Especially if they're, especially, especially if they're people. Especially. You guys ready? What? He's just going into the dirt. <laughs> On to our next spot. Some pretty good flips so far. I almost just flipped over. Our next spot is that way. I can't go for that. He got away again. Damn you. Stop. B. All right, guys. B stung me on my head. Bad karma for messing with him today. All right, Neil, you get the thing out. There it is. Got it. Oh. All right, there's the bee stinger. That little teeny thing right there, he lit my head up. <sighs> Ow. I'm a doctor. Thanks, Doc. Oh, man. I'm hoping I don't have some headache and vomiting when I get home today. And maybe my head won't swell up the size of a freaking watermelon. Dang bees. Not even what How do I stand on top of a bee nest for half an hour and don't get stung? I'm out in the middle of nowhere and a random bee just like... Bee -bee -bee. It only takes effect if you leave it in long enough. It My brain is dying. I know, but buddy, we left that right thing now. in for a couple minutes. Well, I don't know. Well, did you read that on YouTube video or are you just make your dad feel better? Speaking of bee stings, what happened to your face? No, that's just my face. He got stung by the <laughs> we, oh. love we love you, buddy. And I've been stung by wasps before and built up an immunity, or not immunity, but a resistance to their stings where it doesn't last too long, but they have an alkali as where bees have more of an acidic sting. And I've only been stung once and I don't know what's gonna happen this time when I take, when I took this hit. My head feels a little funny though. All right. Oh, time to take a little break. Between that sunburn and that bee sting, my, my head's a little more swollen and bulbous than it normally is. I don't know if you guys can see that bee 
was not very good to me. Can you see the swollenness? How it's all sticking out right here is like a big fat bulbous lump on my head. So I look even goofier than normal. Put on my sun protection. Let's hurt. I'm hoping we don't get the same old finds we normally do. Be like Justin McDonald's. I don't want anything on the menu. Take my shower today. Uh -oh. I was hoping it'd be water instead of dirt, though. Huh. Not that much dust. Last time we put that. Maybe thing not for you. Tell that to my eyeball. My Balls. eyeballs feel like they were connected to a trimmer's butt, just getting dragged through the freaking crap. There's a scorpion. Oh, he's, he's flipping. Well, dang, he went in his hole. Even he was he panicking. Is. That scorpion's like, ah, what happened? Sunlight. Ah. We moved to the next valley over to a different stream. Hopefully it's down there and not dried up. Not really any signs of life other than the bunny we just found and the bunny didn't make it. He got annihilated. I went to flip this because it's already dead to see if there was a granite night lizard underneath and it kind of came undone. So now I got a new tool to discipline the children with. You're bad! The Punisher. <laughs> the Kid Punisher. Bringing justice to the daycare since 1982. I don't do daycare. I do daycare lists. Daycare lists. <laughs> this is, does not sound like a good daycare. We make, we make the kids fight it out for their freaking snacks and baby bottles. MMA daycare is the best. And then I also get to stream those kids on pay-per-view. Helps me pay for our herping adventures. Descano well number four. Uh-oh, now people know where we are. We don't got no more secrets. We walked about 10 minutes down the road, some type of bunker water storage looking thing up there. So we're gonna go check that out. Walk up this log right here. Log balance beam. We made it on top of the bunker of wonder. That's the hole of mystery. I'm gonna climb in and solve it. I might need a light. Here, let's get a light. Yeah, that's always a good idea, I heard. It's always a good idea I see too, with my light. We got the heavy light or the light light. I'm gonna go with the light light. That's right. It's the light light. All right. Wait a minute. Whose fat head's been in this thing? Freaking Ronald McDonald? Jesus, you clowns need to quit messing with my stuff. Oh, wait a minute. This is Neil's. Wait a minute, but he's my kid. How the hell has he got a bigger head than me? Nope. Neil's a, it has a thick oh. skull. <laughs> All right. Looks clear. It doesn't look like I'm gonna land on a rattlesnake. You can film it like that. Don't drop it. I don't know. I'm just feeling like there's a chance we'll find a granite night lizard in here. Not that my feelings don't ever mislead me. I always wondered what it was like to go skydiving without a parachute. It's a good thing the plane was still on the ground. This is more organized than Neo's bedroom. Maybe I can see something hiding in a corner that wasn't on the ground. I was hoping we'd be a bit more lucky, but hoping to be lucky doesn't make you lucky. Being lucky makes you lucky. Maybe even being named lucky. But then again, lucky might be a very unlucky name because then everybody assumes you're lucky and then they constantly take stuff from you. All right, here you go, buddy. I'm coming out. <coughs> no, that guy is staying in there. All right. Oh. Do, do, do. Look, Ma. No hands. I mean, no feet. Ah. All that flip press has been making me buff. Maybe, maybe later, maybe later. <laughs> Time to head to the riverbed. Unless we're not lucky enough to find the trail to it. Down we go. Let's grab our gear. We found the trail. Hopefully there's water at the bottom of it. We found this big metal flip, guys, but good God is it warm. I can't imagine anything hanging out underneath that without getting turned into reptile bacon. The California <laughs> Mountain bacon snake. Metal plus hands plus the sun equals bacon fingers. My fingers are bacon and they're aching. Yeah. My mouth is getting dry. Dang it. I feel like a T Rex. I can't even reach. Looks like a giant flowered asparagus stick or something. Uh-oh, getting left. 
sliding down. I think it's time to buy a different set of shoes. Not be so grippy and they making me look extra derpy. I think that bird's letting us know there's water here. The water's flowing pretty good. Right when I got here, there's a tadpole in here. Take him. I, I think I got him. <laughs> He's a funny looking little, little freckly kind of shiny guy. The tadpoles normally look like, like all eyeball-y like that. Oh, I think he needs a little bit of water. Okay, back in the water, bro. There you go. Let's go further upstream. I'm hoping for more than just some polies. I'll be right back. Hopefully. <laughs> It's too thick to go through. There's another river adjacent to us. Nobody wants to come here because that is so easy to access. So that means we got to become trailblazers. I don't want to blaze trails through that. Don't be discouraged by the failures when you guys are out. Every single time it happens, you're just one step closer to catching the animal you want. You mark something else off the list where they don't exist or that they're limited and then you can move on without having it eat at you that you might have missed something. That is way too thick for us to traverse though. And besides, it's got traffic. We approached this fence here, wondering if it was openable, but <laughs> is openable even a word? Unless you're the key master, you ain't unlocking this gate. But if you got an off-road truck, you can just drive right over there over the boulders. So this is pretty much useless. Or you can go right to the fence if you have a real truck. Any gate that's smaller in diameter than my arms is not keeping anyone out. Look guys, we got turkeys. <laughs> not the one I brought with me either. That's so rude. I just gotta do my turkey call to, to convince him to come back. Gobble, gobble. That works, right? Gobble, gobble. What the gobble are you talking about? I'm doing the gobble, gobble, and they're just hobble, hobbling right out of here. Turkeys walk really funny. I think what you say in their language is, I'm gonna gobble, gobble you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey look, oh, turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. Yeah, like, that's saying it differently. Kumaya hut replica. I wonder if that's where Java's at. This is pretty cool. All right. Native. Out of the hut. All right. Ain't no herps in here, so herp solo's getting out of here to go find some critters. Hey, we got some herp. Thankfully, the U.S. Forest Service thought it was a good idea to be environmentally friendly and just grind a giant trail right through the middle of the forest. <laughs> Way to go, U.S. Forest Service. Protecting the environment. <laughs> Well, I mean, this crab just grinded. I mean, they weren't even delicate about it. It looked like they just came through here with a bulldozer. And then right after they chopped through it, they put up sensitive habitat signs all over the place. Habitat, did I just, okay, that, yeah. <laughs> we found the water source, but it is a lot more travel than what we expected. Sorry about the hopscotch on this one, guys. It's, it's out of my hands, it really is. It's con for fighting. Now you're in the land, you oh, Everybody down. was no herb finding. Neil's tan, this body looks like lightning. God dang it. Hey, get, ah. don't, don't assault the camera with that freaking thing on your roof. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're crossing the stream. We made it to the bridge. We're gonna see if there's some snakes or birds or bats or insects, anything we can find in there. All right, let's do this. I think there's a bat, let me see. Okay, definitely, oh God, it smells awful in here. When I said I could handle the smell in here, I might be wrong. It's strong. Come on, let's take a look at this thing. Oh God, there's a bat looking straight at me. Oh God, seriously, oh, there's a third bat. There's a third bat. He's looking at me. He's looking at you. His ears are all from up. See him? He's oh. looking at me. Oh, no, 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 no. He's kind of cute and scary at the same time. He's very cute. Oh. That thing looks kind of freaky. He was hanging from the ceiling like the alien get ready to pick one of us up. Damn, look at those ears. He's a freaking gremlin. What you looking at, gremlin? Gizmo caca. What's up with that facial expression? He looks like he's riding a roller coaster. Oh, whoa. 
Why are those ears so big? Those are floppers. And he could row a boat with those things. I mean, shoot, he don't even need his wings. He can fly with his dang ears. All right, guys, do not try this at home. Even if your home has a cave and your uncle's Batman, do not try this. Hi. Okay, he's got the face of a freaking werewolf. Uh oh, you oh, he's, come up he, with that. He's going werewolf mode. Look at those little lopers. Look at those lobes, bro. He can snare everybody across the equator. He's my new cuddle buddy. Hi, cuddle buddy. Okay, cuddle buddy, we'll leave you alone. All right, we're getting out of here. It smells horrific. The smells of being locked in a trailer with a family of four do not compare to the bat cave, okay? We're out. How about what you smell like when you take craps? We can smell it across the whole house. I can smell you before you take a crap. I'm in a hazmat suit right now, so you're probably gonna die and I'm gonna live. <laughs> Your name ain't Matt, it's hazmat. It's hazmat. Yeah, <laughs> it's so dirty in there. Yeah, you definitely need the hazmat suit. So it's Matt, hazmat. Matt, hazmat. All right, that totally wouldn't work, guys. Don't try that. We're gonna go across the other side of the river and hopefully find like maybe something cool. Traffic jam. Everybody knows that's what traffic jams sound like, right? Burr, 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 burr. Everybody's driving dirt bikes on the freeway. Okay, I hang with the wrong people when I was young. My family. Right there. New deer. And by new deer, I mean it's not an old deer because I've never seen it before. Some real pretty quail by him too. A couple more months, that'll be called this Thanksgiving special between the deer, the quail, and the duck, and the turkey. <laughs> Maybe the deer giving us a gnomon. Yeah, you don't want to make the deer angry. They're deermonic. Okay, I don't know what that means. Apparently it's demonic, but he's got more fur. You think I can lure it in with that? Nope, you're terrible. I'm going back to the deer. Ah, well, at least we got to see some dang deer. Oh my. Anything? Bunch of termites. They ruined it. They gave us bad luck. I could put those on the turkey. Termite sprinkled turkey is pretty tasty. It might. It turn. just needs time to marinate. It's all fun and games eating termites until you run into the termininator. How's a little termite gonna kill you? Because he's not gonna be a little termite. I was totally expecting that to be hard to move. I almost fell on my butt. Your butt just almost went into that giant stick. What? Oh, jeez. If that had hit me in my butt cheeks, it would have wrecked him. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to herp and we're finding freaking planes instead. Hopefully that's United Reptile Delivery Service. Bringing the critters back into SoCal. We caught an alligator lizard. We've already found quite a bit of these guys though this year. So we're gonna roll this back down. We're gonna put him down on this side. And then now we're gonna kick dirt all in these corners right here to shield him from the cold because we just rolled his spot. So now we gotta back him up with some insulation or else he's gonna have a bad night. You know, Dad might need your help with this. <laughs> Man, it ain't every day a log flips you. In those murder movies, how they always trip and break a leg. I'm, oh, murderer! Oh, oh hey, Dad! Ah. <laughs> that was really convincing. I totally thought he broke his legs there. I was about to get in the truck and leave. I was finally rid of him. Look, <laughs> what? Oh, really? These are spiky. I'm not afraid to. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not really a herper. All these years, I've just been looking for a place to leave the kids. But, but it took me so long that now they can keep up with me. Ow. Stop doing me. Ah, oh, this is my fault. I'll stand right behind the camera. Way young. Hey, look, it's a love scene. Never be posted. <laughs> really? I haven't found crap. I mean, I mean, I took a crap, but, but I mean, that doesn't count as finding it if you leave it there in the first place, right? Uh, uh. All right, guys, I think we got to call it today. Call it today. Yeah, we're going to call today, today, because it's today, you know? That's what they call today. Dang it. Why do I talk like this? I'm dual survival. Today, I'm going to teach you how to survive. Let's go. Freaking poison oak. Oh crap. That's the end of that journey. 
Man, we really need to just buy a freaking net. We do everything so backwards from everyone else. We catch fish with our hands and we use fishing pole to catch lizards. And then he's flipping out. What is this other creature right here with Mike? They're little teeny fish, but they're still fish. And fish make me happy. And I don't mean like when I put them in my sandwich either. Ow! Jeez! Okay, that's unflippable. All right. Unless I turn green and get angry. I'm like a normal person. I turn red when I get angry. And then when I get constipated. That thing just whizzed. When I encounter a cow and I ain't got a steak knife and a fork, I'm just outmatched and outclassed. So we steered away. These logs love it. I'm seeing if he moves or not. He smells. He's musking or something. I think, yeah, I think I've never smelled that smell before until encountering this guy. I mean, maybe your brother once or twice, but. Is there anything there? Nothing so far. No, I don't think so. You okay? I got I close my eyes. I'm sorry. She'll let you know I was dropping it. Okay. That thing is heavy. Scratch my head. I don't do that. Whoa! Is that a rattlesnake? Jesus. I was right on the edge of his range, too. Good thing you had the snake bite things on. My head is tingling from that bee stingling. Please comment, like, subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. It'll help us get to our goals of making a video every single week. Ow. You're gonna be in the hospital in the next 50 minutes. What happens if a queen bee stung you? Please comment, like, and subscribe to the hospital I'm going to. I hope not. Oh, my head.